we just wanted to be aggressive. And uh, you know, even early in the half, we took a couple of them that were probably you know a little too aggressive. But I told them, hey, you know, we're going to be aggressive offensively. We're not worried about that end of the floor. You know, we're going to win this thing defensively. And that's really what happened. I mean. Uh, we got six or eight stops in a row in the gut of that thing when it, when it was a, you know, like a one, two point game. And if we're getting stops and rebounds, um, you know, this team is as good as any I've coached in the open, in the open court. And uh, we got in the open court a lot today. Now, the unfortunate thing is, is, is early in the game, they were too, you know. Um, uh, you know, not, not only and Johnson were real good. And, and I, I told them before the game, they're going to play good. You know, you have to plan on that. In, in championship games, the other team's going to play good. You know, you need to play. You know, you just need to worry about yourself. And uh, and if you play good and they play good, you're going to win because you're better than them. And you know, everybody points to those championship games, but in the two, last two years, we played six times now, and, and five of them have been by. Uh, now it's 13, 13 or more. You know, so uh, you know, we we felt like. You know, I felt I felt as a coach, I had to make sure these guys understood that, you know, last year was last year, and, and we need to be confident. And I think we played very confident today, uh, because it would be easy to, to worry about last year, worry about Larry not playing, and, and they didn't look, they didn't have that look in their eye. They, they, they worried about, you know, just playing well themselves, and, and they did a great job of that. And that came from again leadership. Casper and, and Ed has did a great job of leadership in this tournament with a with a captain now. Well, as I told him Monday when, when we knew Larry was probably not going to play, I said, you know, nobody needs to be Larry Anderson. Everybody just needs to be themselves, more consistent for a longer period of time because you're all going to play a little bit better. And really, you know, uh, Cass obviously was tremendous, but but the difference in this tournament was, was the bench uh, and, and, and James and, and guys having, having to step up. I mean, Mike Caffey, uh, Peter Papa George, James Annis, um, uh, and Edis, those four were the X factor. I mean, and, and all of them just stayed within their game and, and, and helped. You know, I mean, uh, you know, I, again, Casper, you know, was phenomenal. But it's not a one-man. You, know, you can't do it alone. And we weren't going to win with 33 points. You know, uh, he had, you know, he, he had some guys step up, and I really thought all of them did a great job. I thought James came in. You know, we were really worried because Larry's our second leading rebounder. And, and James James had a phenomenal week of rebounding. I don't know what, what he ended up with today. He only had four, but I think he had nine or ten the first two games, both games. So uh, everybody did their part, uh, and that's why we're the better team today. I mean, I, I can't even tell you what's going through my head when, it, when the game was going on. I mean, I just got to give my teammates, because a lot of my shots were very open. I missed three open ones. I mean, so I just got to give my teammates for just finding me when I was open and stuff, so I give credit to them. I mean, I think I had a better focus on going into the tournament because I know I had to just be more of a leader with Larry out. So knowing that, I, I just took it upon myself not to let my team lose, not even just scoring wise, just like if I had to take a charge, take a charge. If I had to talk to him, yell at him, make sure I do that. Like anything my team needed, I will just have my focus that I was, I was ready to do it. Before the game started, before we got on the bus here, Casper had that look that he wanted to get it done because it came here like, Two years in a row and they didn't finish, so today he really motivated me to play hard and step up for LA. I got to get out to our president of school and just our athletic department because, I mean, they had to buy them tickets for the students to get in, and, I mean, that gave us an advantage right there. So, I mean, just our school um, deserves this win, too, not just us. So they played a big part in that. Uh, I want to second that. I mean, the support of our administration this year, has been phenomenal, and it, it doesn't just happen with just players or coaches. And uh, uh, this journey for four or five years that I've been here, it starts with them. And uh, you know, to have a, a president and athletic director as supportive as we've had makes a huge difference. And uh, and you know, they they really helped fill this building, and that building was electric. I don't know how many people were here, but it didn't matter. Uh, it was it was definitely a big help, and that's why we haven't lost at home in you know a while too. Well, they're all unique, and it's all a different. Th this one was more of a journey. This one was more, I think, a, a relief because I I'm going to have hopefully more opportunities. But that that senior class, it's just been such a, you know, uh, not a monkey, but just such a goal that we hadn't accomplished. And I just didn't think their careers could be ful 
fulfilled, and I didn't want Casper Ware laying on the couch when he's my age, you know, not ever having that experience because he's just been too good of a, of a team guy, too good of a player, too good of a person, not, you know, and, and, and deserves it. And Larry and, and Gene and, and, uh, and TJ the same way. So for me, it was just a responsibility and a journey. But, you know, uh, they're all special. I mean, I, I tell the kids, they have no idea how special it is. And, and they're about to find out. And that, that, just, that just thrills me. It's a dream come true, actually. Like, I've been wishing that I was playing in the tournament. So I'm glad I came to this team. Uh, to play around the good players I am, playing around with my team. Man, for me, is is I just can't tell you how I feel right now. I mean, I've been trying to get there for three years. Luckily, James, one year he's there, so <laughs> he's a lucky one. But I tried three years and finally got there the fourth time. So I mean, it's great to know that I'm going to that tournament.